Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. Recently, IAI has announced its new passing rules uh, for FEP and upcoming examinations. For CM and CS papers, CP1 and CP2, for these six papers, the rules are like this. In individual paper A and paper B, you have to score a minimum of 30%. And overall, the aggregate after the split percentage has to be 50%. Suppose in paper A, a student is securing 80 marks out of 100. So that's minimum 30% criteria is met. In paper B, the student has scored 20 out of 100. So minimum of 30% criteria is not met. However, as per existing rule, in paper A he scored 80, 70% of that, the weightage, that comes to 56. And in paper B, 20 out of 100, the weightage is 30%. So 30% of 20 is 6. So 56 plus 6, that comes to 62. As per the existing uh, rules, passing rules, Minimum is 50% overall aggregate. But if you see the new one, this candidate will be marked as fail. Because in each paper, we need to score a minimum of 30%. First criteria. Second criteria, overall it has to be 50%. After we do the 70-30 split. So for CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, CP1 and CP2. Let's come to CB1 and 2. In CB1 and 2, the passing percentage, there is only one paper in CB1 and 2, single paper, there is no paper in paper B. The minimum criteria to qualify is 65% marks. So as we have seen from the November attempt, which was the first uh, MCQ examination of IAI, the paper was comparatively easier. So they have increased the passing percentage from 50 to 65%. With respect to CP3, the passing percentage still remains 50%. For SP and SA series also, the passing percentage still remains 50%. So the major change has come in CM, CS, CP1 and 2. Overall 50% after the split up is okay, but you have to score a minimum of 30% in each individual paper A and paper B. And in CB series, the passing percentage has increased from 50 to 65%. Thank you.